What's going on everyone? I am the Kilted Cajun. I don't know why I'm starting this video out when I haven't done my past few videos like that, but here we go. In this latest episode of Dredging Up the Past with Tired Old Arguments That Are Absolutely False, we have this lovely article from The Gamer from March 16th. Yes, I'm a few days old with that. Okay, maybe a couple of weeks old with that. Goodness gracious. Resident Evil 5 is too racist for a remake. Now, if you didn't know, way back when, when the original game came out in, what, 2009? They were making the same arguments over and over. Resident Evil 5 is racist. White dudes go and kill a bunch of black zombies. Huh. Let's see what the article has to say. Capcom will need to approach this one very differently. No, they don't. You're wrong. Resident Evil loves a good remake. Capcom has been trading its reimagining of its survival horror series since 2002 with when the beloved original was brought back to life on the Nintendo GameCube. Stellar remake and the definitive version of a classic game. The same can be said for 2019's Resident Evil 2, which many now consider the best of the series since it exploded onto the scene four years ago. I'll agree with that. I, enjoy, I played it. I enjoyed it. Loved the hell out of it. 3 wasn't great. Well, Resident Evil 4 came out to stunning applause, fantastic reviews. I'm going to get my hands on it eventually. A game's so nice, they remastered it twice. Yes, that's how you know a game's good. Unlike, well, Last of Us 1. Stop charging full price. Anyway, game's so nice, they remastered it twice, and now the remake treatment is set to introduce the banger to a new generation. Resident Evil 5 is the next logical step. Of course it is, because Capcom likes to make money. Given its most iterative sequel, with many of the same gameplay mechanics and set pieces, it also has mandatory co-op, even if you're playing alone, removing what little horror was left by giving your characters... Giving you characters? Oh, giving you characters with twice the firepower. <sighs> the game's legacy... I'm going to skip a parts here and there. The game's legacy also eternally tainted by its racism. Hmm. That's a hefty claim there. Intentional or not, it's there. <sighs> no, I'm sorry, but it isn't. Resident Evil 5 takes place in deepest, darkest Africa. Now, the writer of this article, one Jade King, brings up the argument that let's get down here we're just going to skip all this garbage in 2009 Africa had some of the world's foremost universities situated in bustling urban metropolises that is true but if you understand the game I believe they're using some sort of virus to infect the local people in the safest I, I say safest in the most in a more inconspicuous way. Now, do you actually think it would be a smart idea to release this contagion into those bustling urban areas if you're testing something new out? Am I wrong about the story? Correct me in the comments, please. But it would seem more natural to drop it in the middle of these uncivilized, uncontacted tribes in Africa, which exist to this day. Hundreds around the world. Some of them, they'll just as soon eat you as talk to you. Yes, cannibal tribes still exist in South America, in Africa, all over the world. They are still there. So, to complain about this game, I think that makes you a little bit more uneducated than you're claiming Capcom is. Let's continue. Ha. We'll back up. You could argue that the game set in Africa is, of course, going to result in people of color, they're black, uh, being infected, which is a valid point. Well, then there you go. That's the end. We're done. But she continues. That view falls away the moment Chris and Sheva venture into the swamplands. Into the swamplands. So in the uncivilized, darker parts, I, I mean that in with technological Stop it. Anyway, <laughs> the darker parts of Africa where, you know, you're not going to run into technology. You're not going to run into automobiles or anything like that. Assaulted by natives. Hey, you can't say that anymore. Donning bamboo skirts because, you know, they used the land whose main mode of combat is throwing homemade spears, which they make from the land, while screaming in a dialect that feels ripped straight out of an insensitive 30s cartoon. Hmm. Is it authentic, though? Is the dialect real? Did they use 
an authentic African dialect. I'm not entirely sure. It's difficult to defend and especially awkward to revisit all these years later. Huh. Nobody complained when the original Resident Evil games dropped the T-Virus into modern America and you were going around killing every manner of individual on the streets. Nobody has a problem with that. But all of a sudden, you drop it into an area that is that primarily inhabited by a particular race who are suddenly trying to kill you every step of the way and you have to kill them suddenly that's a problem interesting so we go on 2009 Africa had some of the world's most foremost universities and yet Capcom decided to portray its people not as modern workers but as savages in a stereotypical tribal gear it's because of where the game takes place. It does not take place in the urban areas. It does not play, take place in the developed, bustling cities. It takes place in the jungles, in the swamps, in the wilderness of Africa. It's a trope, as inaccurate as it is insensitive. It's not a trope, it's a setting. Africa is a sprawling continent. <gasps> yes, it is! And the people who decide, designed the virus decided to drop it in a particular part of Africa, the uncivilized part. Generic and offensive interpretation of the continent. Hmm. Except it's just a video game and it's not trying to portray the high, entire continent. It's portraying Umbrella Corporation as something in particular. Africa is just the setting. But whatever. Perhaps this dodgy misstep would fly in 2009, but... To remake it and fail to acknowledge how problematic... I hate that word. Jesus Christ, I, ha I hate that word. I'm not saying a potential remake of Resident Evil 5 needs to abandon... Yes, you are. You absolutely are saying it needs to abandon Africa entirely. Because in order to portray it, to follow the storyline of it, then they need to abandon the uncivilized areas of Africa. This was... A nonsensical controversy when it originally came out in 2009, and it's nonsensical today. I look forward to playing the Resident Evil 4 remake. I never played Resident Evil 5, but if they do a remake with the modern graphics and settings and ray tracing, I look forward to playing it. Do you think Resident Evil 5 was racist? Do you think the depiction of the African tribes was racist or accurate. Let me know what you think. These articles are getting tiresome. They're nothing more than clickbait. You could probably call my video clickbait as well, but these things need to be addressed, argued against, fought back against. But regardless, let me know what you think in the comments. I appreciate you making it this far. Have a good one.